Hello and welcome to Caravanning with the Misses. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for subscribing if you have. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. That would be great. Thank you very much. Okay, today's video is going to be about getting a solar panel fitted to my caravan, Bailey D44. Solar panel is going to be 150 watts and it's going to be fitted by the ever so lovely Andy from East Midlands Caravan Servicing. I'm quite interested to see how he fits it myself. Just, um, it'll give me a clue as to what's going on electrically. I'm getting an MPPT um, controller fitted so that I can monitor the uh, progress of the charge and everything on my phone, which will be really exciting. And obviously the point of getting a solar panel, a nice beefy one fitted, is so that we can go off gridding without any problems, go to these music festivals and stuff. Okay, so let's meet Andy. Right everybody, here's Andy from East Midlands Caravan Servicing. Hi. So at the moment he's taking the shelving unit out so that he can run the um, cable from the roof right down behind there, which is also where some other gubbins is. After how many screws later? Yeah, too many. It's <laughs> probably about 10, 15 screws. Uh, yeah, at least. Right, good. And it's, and it's, That'll do it. All right, that's enough. So we've got a little gap, have we? We've got another one. Oh yeah, just in there. And then we're gonna drill a little pilot hole up there into the roof and then go onto the roof and go downwards. And he's now unwrapping the uh, solar panel. There's me mounts. What's those bits, Andy, in that box? Uh, oh, that's the cables. Well, the cable, you've got your Bluetooth MPPT charger, um, sealant. on the roof, the ones are going to go through, and then a load of fittings. Excellent. The Sunstore kit comes with everything. Right, it's a Sunstore um, solar panel, and there's the MPPT box, and they provide all the fuses and stuff. Oh, they provide the drill bit as well. Yeah. That's very nice of them. And there she is. Do I have to clean it, Andy? Yeah, so, obviously if there's bird muck on the panel, then the sun won't be able to get to it, so it does need to be kept clean. Um, but it, it takes 48 hours, well, it says 24 hours on the tube, but we leave them 48 hours for this glue to set. So don't get them clean it for the first time. No, okay. Presumably, in typical usage, I'll just need to clean it, what, once every six months or something, once a yeah, year? probably at the start of the season. The start of the season, yeah. We're hoping to caravan all year round, so... So the mounting is screwed onto the panel, but the mounting is screwed onto the, pa onto the panel, but the panel is glued onto the roof. The only hole in the roof where you put the feed through for the solar panel. So Andy was just saying that uh, 150 watts is the most powerful panel he's ever fitted in his 12 years of being a caravan engineer. Lots of 140s, but no 150s. So what are you doing now, Andy? You're roughing it up for the sealant. So, so we'll just get some emery paper, and we rough up the bottom of these uh, mounts. So with some emery paper, he's just rubbing the um, brackets, and he's going to do the same on the roof. So it will key for the uh, sealant. And then we, then we use white spirits, and then methylated spirit just to get off any residue. So we've marked out where the panel's going to go. Andy's just roughing it up now with his, what's the paper called? Emery paper. Emery paper, before we fix it to the roof. Oh, he's just applying the adhesive. He's keyed it all on the roof and the brackets. And I'm going to help him turn it over in a minute. So 
It's quite simple on the D44, even though the actual battery is underneath the floor, down under his knees. You just connect it to these connectors there. So he's just putting on the connectors for the solar panel to connect to the regulator. And there's the solar panel in all its glory. 150 watt beast. And he's now putting together the little unit which is hiding the cable. So Andy, you've been doing this for 12 years. Is this one of the more easier caravans you've done it on or one of the more difficult? Yeah, this is an easy one. So tell me some horror stories. How, how difficult can they get? How long can it take? Uh, the motorhomes tend to be the, the harder ones uh, because with the motorhomes you wire them into two batteries, the uh, leisure battery and the vehicle battery. And it, them trying to run the cables, particularly one battery at the back of them, you know, the leisure battery is at the back and the vehicle battery is under the bonnet. Caravans are generally fairly easy. But that unit there was obviously not designed to be taken apart, was it, by the looks of it? No. That's screws that you could only put in if you didn't have the outer shell, I suppose. Fingers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've got the app running on my phone. I need to look at the instruction manual because although it's 150, I was saying to Andy, although it's a 150 watt panel, I've well, oh yeah, the reason I'm not getting anywhere near, I'm only getting a big 39 watts, it's quite bright sunny, but you say that's probably because I've not got any load running on it yet. The volts look good, 21 and a half volts. Down here is a section for the battery, so the battery's running at 13.8 volts, which looks good. 